a look at the Taylor Prize. Let's find out a bit more about it. It's really incredible to be hosting it in Liverpool this year. So last time we hosted it was 2007, which was the first time the Turner Prize had actually taken place outside of London. And that was part of the Capital of Culture year, 2007 and 8. So there's a massive excitement around the city. I think everybody's really pleased to have it here. And it's particularly important this year as we see museums and galleries reopening after COVID and the pandemic. There's uh, a lot of excitement. For sure, I think it's a really generous exhibition and I think there's something for everyone there really is in every room, it's very accessible, there are rooms where you can really spend some time quietly contemplating and other installations that are really just about an immersive experience that's really enriching and moving. It feels like it sort of transports the fourth level of the gallery to a completely different realm, to a different yes. universe, so we're really excited about how it's turned out. Yeah, it's absolutely interactive and I think that's really important for all of the artists. They're asking you really questions about yourself and your experience. So it's the kind of exhibition that you can come back to again and again, I think, and get something a little bit different from it. I couldn't possibly say who my personal favourite is because I feel like the four artists are just all really strong. They all have something really unique to offer and they've been chosen for the quality and their positions of contemporary art today. So it's too tough a decision. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to make it.